and welcome to the South Beach Food and Wine Festival. This sensational celebration of culinary expertise is one of the largest of its kind. Join our host, Mike Justice, self-proclaimed food enthusiast, and Chef Michael Jacobs, head chef of our beloved Miami Heat, as they take us on a tour of this year's festivities. Outside pitmasters versus inside tent chefs. Whose cuisine will dominate? You be the judge. It's all here at the South Beach Food and Wine Festival. Okay, well I gotta tell you, you don't even have to say this guy's name, we all know Bobby. Bobby, thanks for coming down to Burger Bash once again. Yes, and, happy uh, to be here. So uh, tell us, what's your burger philosophy for this, uh, this Burger Bash? Well, this one uh, is uh, another one of our burgers from Bobby's Burger Palace, and um, this is actually the, what we call the Napa Valley Burger. And it's a, uh, a beef burger um, with, uh, with goat cheese, like a creamy goat cheese, watercress, and uh, a Meyer lemon honey mustard sauce. And then it has uh, 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 some potato chips, very thin, crisp potato chips. We call it Crunchified. So it's a Napa Valley Crunchified Burger. Bobby, thank you for your time. I know you're going to be crazy in just a few minutes. So yeah, it's getting going. <laughs> Nobody ate here for three days. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're here with my good buddy, Al Roker. Yes. <laughs> Al, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. How long have you been doing the festival? You know, uh, I was there for the first one uh, 10 years ago, and there were about 250 people. And uh, now it's this massive event. I mean, it is the, I think, the food event of, of South Florida. Like, you got guys like Adam Perry Lang, who's, who's doing it, who's cooking tonight without pants. Uh, it, it's, it's really amazing. Bobby, Bobby Flay's wearing a thong. Bobby's wearing a thong. Bobby's wearing a thong. Very few people know that. So what are you preparing for us tonight? I'm making barbecue chicken, uh, and the fine students at FIU, uh, actually, I, I'm not doing anything. I gave them my <laughs> recipe, and they're, they have prepped it uh, uh, and, and have done a fantastic job. Uh, we've got my uh, proprietary dry rub, uh, and then... You want to give us any secrets on that? Uh, if, uh, what, what are you? I, no, I could, but then I'd have to kill you. Can we uh, get a shot at the grill and see what you're making? Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. We're chopping it up. Uh, you know, we, we leave it a little, a little undone because it's going to go back a minute in the oven. Uh, that's the other thing people don't realize. After it comes off the grill, it still cooks for another 10 minutes or so. Carry over cooking? Yeah. So, you know, it's uh, very nice. As opposed to karaoke cooking, where you sing along with the meat. I love karaoke cooking. I'm telling you, it's amazing. Yeah. Staying alive, staying alive. How do you feel about the pitmasters being outside and then the chefs being on the inside? First of all, uh, it's one of these things, I mean, true barbecue is about waiting, is about time. It's indirect heat, it's low, it's slow. You can't rush it. So you've got to have the patience of Job. And, and you know, you, you're not sure you've done it right until six, seven, eight hours later. No way of correcting it either. Yeah, and if it's whole hog, you're talking usually 24 hours. So uh, and there's a, we got some whole hog out there. Chris Lilly's out there. Chris Lilly's been there since 5:30 this morning. Chris Lilly is my god. Here with Danny Meyer from Shake Shack from New York, who's now down here on Miami Beach. What burger did you make tonight then for the event? Well, we went with our signature, the Shack Burger. And uh, that's our bread and butter, no pun intended. It's an amazing, uh, it's an amazing burger. But in addition to that, we had to give it a Miami accent. So our frozen custard is a special flavor. Hang homage, it's Cafe Cubano with churros in the frozen custard. And secondly, our fries are chorizo and cheese fries with fried scallions. I gotta tell you, putting a little local twist on uh, your classics, uh, I think it's going to be a big hit tonight, and you probably will put it on the menu down here, I'm sure. I hope so. I hope so. We're with Chef Timon from Sugarcane in Midtown. What's going on, Chef? Nothing. Trying to keep the food going. Food flowing and wine and champagne going. What's your barbecue philosophy? We're doing a little bit of a Galbi-style beef brisket. That's a Korean-style marinated beef brisket. So we do a tr traditional barbecue style of curing and smoking the meat, and then we're just grilling it over open fire and finishing with a little bit of galbi sauce. Wow, that sounds delicious. Let's try to keep it simple. Follow the fundamentals of the classic barbecuing, just mixing up the flavor profile a little. Awesome. Well, let's check out what you got going. All right. Open fire over there, and then we're serving it with some steamed buns, and we're doing the galbi. 
The meat's just sitting in the marinade, and it's, you know, it's barbecue. There's nothing nice about it, but it's finger-licking good. We're serving the barbecue uh, brisket on the steam bun, finishing it with some uh, homestead squash kimchi, and calling it a day. It's basically like a, a pulled pork sandwich Asian style. But you're right about being outside the big tent. That's where you want to be. That's where the life of the party is. You got the smoke, you got the you got the love of barbecue out here. We can't just put my big rig inside that tent. No, you can't. We got to be on the patio. That's where it's at. Chris, um, I got a question for you though. Uh, here and you uh, I, I really appreciate you segueing into that, but we have some really well-known and reputable chefs on the inside. How, how do you feel about this? Well, they they're basically putting in their time down here to try to earn their way out to the patio where we are. Okay, great chefs in there. Saw Michael Simon there, Bobby Flay's in there, Al Roker's in there. Keep in mind, they're all trying to get out here with me. All right, we're over here with Chef Allen. Chef Allen, one of the great pictures of all of South Florida. Now, Chef, tell us, you know, what do you got going on here today? Chamula grilled lamb chop with a mint salsa verde. They are just killing it. We got a great charred grill here. Season the, the chamula is actually a spice from Morocco. So it has some lemon and coriander, cinnamon, garlic, and it's just marinated for a couple of days right. and serving with a mint uh, salsa verde. Tonight, you know, grilling it with chamula, that's a Moroccan spice. Right, so I'm right. taking a Moroccan spice, putting it here in Miami, doing a little salsa verde, which is a Latin flavor, and then you know what? Just big flavors, great ingredients, fresh ingredients, and that's what it's all about on my cooking. You know, I, I always do these unusual flavors that come together. I'm not boring when it comes to big flavors. <laughs> Now, I've been to your restaurant several times. No, you're not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Great, Chef. So, uh, what's your philosophy on hamburgers? Uh, good meat, good bread, good cheese. <laughs> and it makes a good cheeseburger. <laughs> you like a good cheeseburger, don't you, now and then? I like it, yeah. I, like, I actually like the bun with the potato. Like a real potato bun, you know? So what kind of burger did you make? A slider with caramelized onion and aged cheddar and a sauce made of ketchup, mayonnaise and shallots, uh, cornichon, chives, you know. Voila, here, enjoy. Merci, chef. Thank you. No, I love those guys and I love their, their smokers. I mean, they're, they're the true smokers. And what we do in Texas, is we smoke a lot too. I mean, uh, with mesquite, uh, but mainly with hickory. And so I'm in tune with those guys out there because smoking is that flavor that everybody loves. Truly Absolutely. loves. Absolutely. Truly Absolutely. loves. That's and it's a mysterious it. flavor too. You know, it's what we're drawn in to this type of food is that smoke. I'm here with Howie Kleinberg. Now, Howie, you're the badass with barbecue, but now you're badass with burgers, too. Tell us about it. Well, we always had a great burger on the menu at Bulldog. It's one of our most popular items. So when we wanted to expand our brand, Bulldog Burger just was made a lot of sense for us. So what's the philosophy of the burger that you're serving tonight? Uh, it's kind of a luxury uh, bacon cheeseburger. We're using brie. There is uh, black truffle butter in the burger meat. And then we're using pancetta. So it's kind of like a kicked up fancy version of a bacon cheeseburger. That's a damn good burger. More to come on Sizzle, a chef's guide to wine and food.